nobody ever gonna love me. Bangalore has been extremely impressive, both sides of the football. We have everything. We have good receivers, good quarterback, running back, linesman, linebacker. Everyone's really good in our team. Like there's not, there's nothing like we don't have a good player in any position. Well, Sean Lobo, the running back, is one of the best players in this league. If I had to start a team and and build around a one player, it would probably be Lobo. He doesn't look big, but he's really smart and he's fast. The best player till now in Bangalore, Warhawks, is Mr. Roshan Lobo. It's been exciting running around with the ball. We this game, but now you're the star of the show. Rashawn Lobo has proven himself as one of the best running backs in this league, and he wasn't even supposed to play running back. We had other running backs, namely Mr. Ricky, uh, Ricky Joy. He was the best uh, running back, uh, according to me, before. The first two running backs on this team got these really good government jobs and really couldn't afford to take a chance playing in the EFLI in season one. The number three running back had a passport issue, couldn't even get to Sri Lanka to play. So the team didn't have any running backs and they looked to Rashawn Lobo to play running back. And before we got to game one, the coaches told me, this guy's gonna be a star. And he has become a huge star. So I'm here with Lobo who uh, scored both touchdowns, plus he has 129 yards in this game. I, I feel really good to be in Bangalore Warriors because it's the best. I think it's the best in the, the old league, the Bangalore Warriors. I feel proud to play with them because I know like our team won't give up and our team is the best. Lobo's fast. I mean, I'm quite sure he can even throw the ball. You know, I'm a linebacker, but he, you know, I'm, I'm weighing like, I don't know, 30 kilos more than him and he's probably uh, just as good of a linebacker as I am. He's an extreme athlete. To tell you frankly, he's an, a great athlete. Uh, he's a great football player and uh, to be a great football player he needs to be a great athlete. Lobo is kind of like uh, Bo Jackson man, you know how Bo Jackson plays all those sports. Well Lobo knows football, Lobo knows knows defense, Lobo knows offense, Lobo knows special teams man. Him knowing those three aspects of the game makes him a better and um, a better threat in our aspects as well. Clearly good enough to play college football in the United States if he was able to do something like that. The opponent players, they, they, they are worried about him. He doesn't, they don't know where, who, where to tackle him. I just think like, well, just don't go near the opponent, just run to the touchdown. Just try to escape, try not to get hurt, get, get on the face of the opponent. I, I just like going on them, smashing on them, just get my shoulders down, go on them. On the defensive side, their middle linebacker, Manjanata, nicknamed Ray Lewis. To come into this league with a nickname of a player as talented as Ray Lewis from the National Football League in the United States and then live up to that billing. My name is full name Manjanata SK. I'm a fat name in Ray Lewis. Uh, Ray Lewis, man. When we first met him, I went to Bangalore for, for you know the first camp. I just see this guy, this skinny dude, and I'm like, ah, he's no linebacker. But then we put him on defense and this guy is just tearing everybody apart. I'm like, who is this guy? I like you hit hard. A linebacker, Ray Lewis, as you know, he's really good. He, hits, he gives some big hits. He's a guy who always likes to, you know, make hard tackles. Yeah, that's, that's the only thing, hit hard, hard tackles. That's about him. Each player knows their strength and weaknesses. That's what we have been training them. We'll watch our game, like first quarter and second quarter. Timmy coach is like the best in the whole league. Uh, he is from rugby and he has really good sense of like what this team game, what is the physical game. Before we play a match, he shows us many inspirational videos. Once we are done with the match, he shows us our match videos and he tells what mistake we have done and where we have improved and where we will have to improve. Main thing here about watching the game. Look at your good things, whatever you have done in the game. And Wrong things, whatever you have done in the game. They can learn from those mistakes. They can uh, uh, remember the good things what they have done and continue that in the next game. He played well. He's like, yeah, that's good. You got to get better than that. If you've done any mistake, he's like, it's okay. Don't do it. Don't repeat it. That's what we keep doing. And we watch some videos from the NFLs and like inspirational videos where it helps us get motivated. He's got a lot of sports background. He's been an athlete who set records in, like, in the field he's played. He's a 400 meter hurdler. He was like a track star in, ba in Bangalore or across India, so like everyone knows who this, who this guy is. Later I got into rugby, rugby union, uh, been part of national team for four years. 
being part of Commonwealth Nation games as well. When I first met Timmy, man, I, you know, I, I thought he was kind of quiet, but the more I got to know him, the more, uh, the more, you know, it, it, it came to me that he's, he's like very bright, man. I feel we are we're strong in all the aspects. Uh, the good thing for me is uh, these players, they don't compare with other players, they compare amongst themselves. To be a coach, you've got to be a player before that to know the players really well. So basically, he's a coach come player. He's been an athlete before, uh, he's been a champion, he's been a rugby player. So because of his experience, I feel really lucky to be under him and he can teach us many things. He corrects our mistakes, we have a video session, we have fun games. <laughs> okay guys, uh, the offense is going to start. That game, it's like, there is like we play, you, normally we play offense against defense and you'll have to complete 10 passes. Guys, first to 10, first to 10, first to 10. They have to communicate to each other saying, oh, okay, I'm here, I'm here. Let me pass the ball and accuracy as well. The offense should complete 10 passes between each other if, without the defense interfering in it. And uh, if the defense catches it, it's like a turnover. If one team completes 10 passes, they get a point. Normally we play this game as best of three. So it's all a mixture of communication, improving their communication skill, knowing each other better, and uh, eye-hand coordination, uh, and uh, the footwork, the moving around with the man. Uh, all this improves, uh, so so we have got that game as our Warhawks warm-up game, and uh, we love we love playing that game. One, two, three, Warhawks! Whatever I can do to relate to these guys, and I know in India the culture is big on dancing. So if I can kind of incorporate some something that uh, that relates to them then I will. So, you know, I, I created uh, this, this, this dance step, it's called the side step swag. So, you know, you started with the two step. And I always tell these guys that you just gotta, you know, you gotta move your feet, you can't stop moving. Next dance move is called side step swag. Side step swag. I come up, the guy try to block me. Oh, I side step on him. Swag it out, baby. Swag it out. I'll show you again. Bam, side step swag. Coach Meech is a really nice guy. And he's, I think he's a party kind of guy. So he's always having like, Fun on the field, he's always dancing around. <laughs> he gets no girl, he's by himself on the dance floor. All right, but you gotta move, you gotta move a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Coach Meech, it's fun. I like him because the way he speaks, the way he teaches us, it's really good. I grew up with a whole bunch of coaches that was kind of old school. They yell at you a lot. And, you know, as I grew older, I understood what the yelling meant. But for me, what made me a better player was becoming smarter. It's not just about hitting in our team, it's about using the brains and playing. It feels really good to be a professional and I feel really good to be the first to play in India. Because and representing a whole city and a team, fans and family is really good. Bangalore, first of all, the city is amazing. The, one of the few cities that you'll go to in India where you can see the greener, the greenest of the greenest grass out there. Bangalore is a lovely city. It's called Garden City. That's mainly because there's a lot of greenery and everybody loves Bangalore because of the weather. The weather is really pleasant. I think in India, Bangalore is best because it has the best weather, good people, uh, party places. But um, besides that, the guys on the team, man, it's the greatest group of guys you ever meet. These guys, the players who are representing Bangalore or Hawks team, are of different characters. Bangalore people basically are very friendly. They have no attitude. They have nothing to like, they no ego problems. They talk to everyone friendly and they have nothing to like show off or something. They just talk to everyone friendly, no matter how big they are. In Bangalore, the good thing is that there are people from everywhere in, from the world. They're like, in India, especially Indian, the North Indian, South Indian, everyone's in Bangalore. And even foreigners are there. So it's like we people from Bangalore adapt to everything. The difference between Bangalore and the other teams is that Bangalore, first of all, to have a group of guys from two different cities to come and play for one team. We are mixed of two teams, that's Punjab and Bangalore and we really get along really well and it just we like each other there's no like quarrels or you know there's no mismatches bangalore warhawks is actually made of uh, the players from punjab warriors have joined our team punjab guys are really big uh, like they're big so it's like we can use them as linesmen and that's what like and they can hit hard also and bangalore people are like basically they're more smarter and much faster and they can think better. So even though we are smaller, but we think better and we play like, more technical football. Punjab is known for uh, the athletics and they are known athletes. Punjab are known athletes. 
uh, very lucky to get my team involved with the Punjab team and their religion, culture, everything is very good and pretty similar to a Bangalore uh, team as well. See, one thing in common between Punjab and Bangalore is both of us are friendly, very friendly. And Punjab people really like to make friends and that's how Bangalore people are. So it's very easy to gel, gel along with them. There, there is no, you know, no problem of being two different culture or two different city. When you're playing for a single team, there you can, you, you automatically build up a unity. I always forget that they were the team that was joined by, uh, you know, two, two, two different groups. In distance, we're really far, but at heart, we're really close. So when I see them play, it's like, wow, these guys came together in a short amount of time, not knowing the sport. They came out here to play to, together cohesively as a team. That's one of the good things about sports, you know. Like, it can bond up everything. It's a great privilege for me to uh, get involved with this bunch of players involving from Bangalore and Punjab, and uh, I'm loving it. Bangalore Warhawks, I think that's the best team, best coach, best players, everything. They're very passionate. That's the one group, of the one team I coach that I, know, that I know is very passionate and they do not give up. We look, we hunt, we win, we go home, enjoy party hard. Ain't never loved nobody, nobody ever gonna love me.